Hello, sports fans. And this time, football fans. That's right, I said football. Because guess what? The NFL has ended, but football is still coming. We got the USFL, as you can see by the logo behind me. The USFL will start on April 16th with a full slate of games. Although for the USFL, a full slate of games is really just four games. There is eight teams, and um, I did a video on an introduction to the USFL, which I will um, link to in the end screen, in case you want to go back and refresh your memory on, you know, who some of the coaches are and, you know, who the teams are, but of course we're going to go through the teams. Now, um, we're going to do it the same way as I did the NFL because guess what? I have a lot of USFL helmets. There's a couple I don't have. Um, so we're just going to have to, you're just going to have to bear with me. One is going to possibly be standing in for another one, although it might have been the old version of that team's helmet. I don't know for sure. Um, but one is definitely going to be an NFL helmet that I have modified to be the USFL to be a particular USFL team. So, um, that is, a, and, and this is week one of a league that hasn't existed yet of teams that have not played each other. So my picks are really as good as anybody's picks. If you go to the zoo and you ask a chimp to pick the teams that will win, they're just as likely to be right. So, um, which is not quite the case with my NFL picks. We have a little something to go by with those. But with the USFL, we have nothing. I mean, we have statistics from players in college or, you know, limited NFL experience. But um, I'm going to go mainly off. And, and also, I mean, in week one of NFL seasons, I usually go with the home team. But the USFL, in its infinite wisdom, is playing its inaugural season every game in Birmingham. And there is a Birmingham Stallions team. So they are the only true home team ever in this league. But, yeah, we'll see if that matters. Um, but for this season, all games are in Birmingham, Alabama. So... Uh, that's how it's going to go. And so I can't really pick a home team unless it's Birmingham. Um, but every other team is really technically on the road. I think the plan is next year, if the league survives, to have games in their own home cities. And that's going to bring us to the first game. And it is, surprisingly, the Birmingham Stallions versus... The New Jersey Generals. Remember these helmets? Remember these? So anyway, we have the Stallions are at home against the Generals. And uh, the quarterback for the Stallions is Jamar Smith from Louisiana Tech. I don't know if anybody remembers him, but it is. That is, I think, who they plan on having be the quarterback in college. He had a 59.2% completion percentage for 9,523 yards. And the quarterback for the Generals will probably be Luis Perez. He uh, was out of Texas A&M. And, and his AAF and XFL career, those are two previous leagues that went defunct, he had a 54.3% completion percentage and 60, 1,649 yards. So in this one, I am going to go with the Birmingham Stallions for quite a few reasons. I mean, they, I, they probably got as good a player personnel as the other teams do. And they are a true home team in that game. Now, the next game is going to be my... Um, Michigan Panthers. The Michigan Panthers are my team against the Houston Gamblers. This is my makeshift, you know, turning the Steelers into a Houston Gamblers team helmet. And uh, not surprisingly, I am going to be a Panthers fan. And the Panthers also ha drafted, they had the first overall pick in the USFL draft this year. And they chose Shea Patterson with the first overall pick. 
and he passed for 8,800 yards in college. The head coach of the team is Jeff Fisher. You might remember that he coached the LA Rams and the, or maybe the St. Louis Rams and the um, Tennessee Titans. So um, obviously, and then for the Gamblers, you've got um, their quarterback is going to be Clayton Thorson out of Northwestern. Wide receiver, T.O. Redding out of Bowling Green. And the running back is Mark Thompson out of Florida. And the head coach will be Kevin Sumlin. It's probably, by now, you've probably guessed. I'm going with the Panthers here in this one. And I'm going with the Panthers, again, for quite a few reasons. Jeff Fisher is an established head coach. Um, the team got the first overall pick and they chose Shea Patterson. And I just have to assume that Shea Patterson was the best available guy to be the quarterback of the team. Although, you know, we'll see if that's true. I don't know. But, uh, and that they're my favorite team. So we're going with the, uh, the Panthers in that one. And by the way, I should go back and mention uh, the Birmingham Stallions are favored. They're a minus 3.5 um, favorite in their game and the Panthers are also a minus 3.5 favorite in their game now as far as rules and everything I think I kind of went over the rules for the USFL because they do have a lot of different rules like after a touchdown you have three choices for trying to score uh you know an extra point tacking on points so you'll have to go back and look at that. I think I went over that. I hope I did. Um, so anyway, we're going on to the next game. And the next game is uh, the Philadelphia Stars and the New Orleans Breakers. And the Stars are the visiting team technically. This game will be on Sunday at 4 p.m. Also got to go back and mention the first game that I talked about, the Generals and the Stallions, is at 7.30 p.m. on Saturday the 16th. And then the uh, Gamblers-Panthers game is on at noon on Sunday the 17th. And then this game is at 4 p.m. on Sunday the 17th. And uh, for the Stars, their quarterback is Brian Scott. He was the third overall pick in the USFL draft. He's out of Occidental College, which I think they drafted him accidentally out of Occidental. I don't know. And he has a 63.3 completion percentage for 9,073 yards in his college career. For the Breakers, their quarterback will be Kyle Sloter. He went to Southern Miss and Northern Colorado. But he was previously drafted by the Broncos and he made an appearance on several NFL rosters. So uh, in this game, the Stars are a negative 2.5 favorite, but I'm still going to go with the Breakers. And I'm going with the Breakers because of the fact that they have Sloter as their uh, quarterback. He has a lot of experience. At least he has probably as much or more experience than a most or all quarterbacks you're going to see in this league. So um, I'm going to go with the breakers in that one. I just got a hunch. Um, and then that brings us to the last game on the docket. This game will be on Sunday, the 17th of April at 8 p.m. And it is going to be the uh, Bandits. The Tampa Bay Bandits are going to be at the Pittsburgh Maulers. So this is the, the Bandits helmet. This is the Maulers helmet. Um, the head coach of the Bandits is Todd Haley. He is a former Kansas City Chiefs head coach and former Pittsburgh Steelers defensive coordinator. And the Pittsburgh Maulers head coach will be Kirby Wilson, who is a rookie head coach. He has never coached at any level at all before this upcoming USFL season. And uh, they have four former San Jose players on their roster, which I actually see as a negative so uh, this is the matchup, um, Tampa Bay against the, the uh, Pittsburgh Maulers. The Bandits are negative 2.5 favorites, and I'm going to go with that because I have no reason to believe otherwise that the Bandits aren't going to win the game. So I would say go with the Bandits in that game. So how do you like my picks? 
all right, so really you have nothing to base it on. I could be right. I could be, I could get a hundred percent. I could get zero percent. I could get 50% or I could get, what is it? 67, 75. So we'll see. Um, I mean, that's the, that's kind of the drawback and the advantage to having only four games every week. You will either do, generally, you'll either do really, really well or you'll do really, really bad. So let's hope that my percentage, you know, and as the weeks go on, we'll learn more about the teams, how good they really are, and then my picks will get more and more accurate, supposedly. So let me know what you guys think. Anybody planning to watch the USFL? I do. I'm hoping to watch the games. I'm really excited that the USFL is back. I am loving that the USFL is back. Michigan Panthers. Go Michigan Panthers. I'm a big fan. But that is going to be my picks for the USFL games this upcoming weekend in week one. And uh, give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment. But for right now, it's Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.